Coming up on Code Bet AFL this week, time for round two. Oh, man, it's going to be absolutely gnarly. We're talking through every single game of the AFL. <laughs> round two slate. There's a couple of stinkers in there, but there's some absolute belters as well. We're talking player props, game picks, best bets for every single game. What are you liking this week, gentlemen? Stats guy. Yeah, Brody Grundy to su- <laughs> surprise and uh, kick a few goals. Nice one, Alex. The Swans are going to win by a lot, but I love you, Stats guy. <laughs> That's going to be great. Either way, check it out. It's Code Bet, the AFL show. It's weekly. It's real good. All right, welcome to Code Bet Daily AFL. That's right, it's the AFL show, a.k.a. it's Code Bet AFL Weekly. I guess that checks out. Something yeah, like that. That works. Yeah. That sounds right. Time for round two of the AFL, and we're going to basically break down every single game in the round two slate, mm-hmm. beginning, of course, tomorrow with Carlton and Geelong, Absolutely. which you can also follow along yes. live streams. live with us for the Code Bet live stream. Check it out on Get around what, it. all of our socials. Uh, Anywhere. Yeah. On site as well. You can hang out, track some bets, YouTube have some as well. fun, knock down some tins. Who knows what's going to play some table tennis. Oh, It's going to be gnarly. Social guy here. Leo is going to bring in some uh, fantasy bets. Yeah, be great. look forward to that, yeah. Either way, I'm your host, James Clements. I'm the editor of a very good website, obviously called codebet.com.au. Go there for all your betting needs, analysis, comparisons, all the good stuff. Uh, I'm joined, as always, by the pontiffs of punting. We've got Stats Guy. Where's your team uh, gear, guys? A bit of team spirit. Uh, go North. I'm still a happy North fan. Very happy. <laughs> Let's go the Sacramento Kings, according to my hat. <laughs> that'd be pretty good. At, that'd be pretty They'd good. They'd be football. tall. They'd yeah. be a few Ruckman in, I think, in the Sacramento Kings. I reckon Kings. Darren Fox would be flying off the back half. <laughs> that would Look be at awesome. him go. He's quicker than everybody. <laughs> Chad Wingard trying to keep up. He tearing <laughs> half again. Ah, Miami. <laughs> I want to see an NBA team play. That'd be awesome. So gosh, just, oh, just oh, I, did you know Scott Pendlebury used to play basketball? I did never heard that. Funny, yeah. Actually, <laughs> I've literally never heard yeah, that before. Me That's amazing. Yeah, that's an incredible stat. You should say that every five <laughs> seconds on a broadcast. <laughs> BT, BT, anyway. or Bruce, or anyone. Yeah. Hey, do not besmirch the good I goddamn Bruce. name of Bruce. He All right, said, shush. That's Alex over there. Uh, this up? is Code Footy's back. Yeah, yes. that's right. Round two. How good was round one, gentlemen? Oh, it's awesome. fantastic. Absolutely awesome. I had a great time. Team one. Yeah, yeah it's my team. Fuss. You wouldn't know about it if you lived in Melbourne, though. Oh, he's nah, no one cares about Sydney beating Gold sook. Coast. Who cares? He's like, oh, you never read about Sydney winning if you're in Melbourne. Then move back to Sydney. No. <laughs> <laughs> Melbourne's better. No one better. cares. <laughs> oh, my God. The world's tiniest violin playing once again for <laughs> yes. Alex Donnelly. Anyway, Code Bet footy's back daily. Uh, what are we going to do? We've got some player props, game yep. picks, the best bets for every single game of round two. Uh, basically, I'm going to fly in and out. We'll give some odds. We'll look at some picks, lines, over unders, whatever you need. Should we just get into it? Sure. Quickly recap last week. Gerald's going to run them up here right now, so we can all see how we actually tipped last week. Yeah, I tipped against the grain and got four. <laughs> yeah. Four. Yeah, I was surprised yeah. by that. I thought you were a bit better. Than that. Yeah, because well, uh, he went. Yeah, screw it, Gold Coast. <laughs> I really did. I just <laughs> screw it, Adelaide. Yeah. I went, What's that? Pigeons. He's a cat, <laughs> <laughs> and it did not work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alex led the, the way. Instead, last turned week. around yeah. and so scratched four, my face. Four for corporate gym. Stats guy with six. I'll take that. I'll just take. I'll take the lead and you retire the difference on seven. With, uh, Collingwood, I think. Yes. Yeah. Also, yes. I didn't think that was going to yeah. happen. Yeah. So I think uh, what we're going to come down with at the end of this season, whoever's uh, last <laughs> has to, uh, you know, have a punishment to fit the crime. Ooh. So I think stats guy has to move out of the house. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> house with Leo. I'm going to get a deli tattoo. What we What do we decide for Alex? We haven't decided uh, yet, which is great. We've got plenty of time though. Anyway, I think by horse. That's right. We get, <laughs> we buy him a donkey and make him. <laughs> and give us that's coronas. Because right, a mate of mine had a donkey that was carrying coronas at his wedding over the weekend. This is it. We're going to get a corona donkey. Uh, <laughs> I'm right, down for that. <laughs> get right into it. Thursday, Carlton. Carlton. That was Geelong. And the MCG. Huge this game. is a big game. Uh, Carlton, $2.55. Geelong, $1.56. The line. Look, this is actually bounced between nine and a half and 11 and a half. Okay. I've got the quote there at 11 and a half at the moment. Uh, but it has sort of bounced around, which is like a little bit more of a testament to people going, ah, the Cats don't have Tom Stewart. They've got some other injury woes. We don't know what's going to happen. And Carlton, I keep, Carlton. Talking, myself and keep talking myself into my own team. Makes I don't sense. like the vibe. <laughs> Fair enough. But interesting setup, interesting matchup at the G. Both teams need a win because they're winless because Carlton drew. <laughs> <laughs> Winless, yeah. Breaking my heart. They've got, yeah, they're not pointless. Breaking my heart. But anyway, and uh, Geelong got ran over the top of by the Pies. So this one, for me, straight away, 
Scream Geelong 1 to 39 yep. point yep. winners. Agreed. Because what were the stats? Uh, Carlton have lost 12 of their oh. last 14, but the funnier one is they've lost their last 16 against the reigning against premiers. The, yeah, that was an awesome That's stat. That's funny yeah. and <laughs> awesome. It is. It's tough as a Carlton <laughs> fan. So, Who's that? Oh, it's the big guys from last year. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking, well, easy four points, them, boys. <laughs> yeah. So the big boy bashed me anyway. So. Uh, but yeah, 12 of the last 14 Geelong have won this matchup. And if you cast your minds back to round 18 last year, Yep. Carlton were up and about, feeling themselves. Like, here we go. Flaggers. It was on. <laughs> that was very early. <laughs> and yeah. then Geelong went, that's ah, enough of that. Nah. <laughs> See you later. Right yeah. Just choked him out like uh, Alex on the bogs yesterday. So, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, that was a random. So, Geelong, I think, ended up with 85 55. I think that one was. And they just dismantled Carlton. And yeah. I feel like there's not. So much about these teams that have changed that dramatically to no. expect a different result. Because yeah. Blake Akers is going to make that much exactly. of a difference. I think, if anything, Geelong have gotten a little bit tougher, even without Selwood. And uh, this one, though, look, in terms of the big forwards, the only pause I've got is Harry Mackay and Charlie Kerner kicking a bag between the two. Yeah, that's what I've got as well. And yeah. That was so bad last week. Exactly. Without Stewart, look, Kerner was, you know, the, la- the late snap that he had was incredible. Yep. The other two goals that he kicked, really good. But... Very little else. And yeah. Like, ah, bit tough. Harry at least was there sort of fronting. He, he still he missed, played a bit better, yeah. Missed two pretty easy goals, Seriously. to be honest. Yeah. That sucked. And that probably cost him the game, as I said on today's COVID Daily. Still, that's the only pause I'd have. Harry Mackay, two plus. That'd be my player prop for this one. Nice. Uh, he's done so nine, eight out of the last nine home games for the Ooh. Blues, which you kind of love to see. So you can get him in the two plus. It's around a dollar seventy, I think I found it on Ladbrokes and Co. Yep. yep. Uh, sort of it bounces between that sort of dollar sixty, dollar eighty. So cool. Uh, for two plus, I'm all over Harry. And they, if you want to go three plus, four plus. I yeah, I don't that. mind that as well. You were five bucks forty for the four goals. Yep. So cool. Big call though. It's just Geelong one to thirty nine. It just yeah. it just feels right. Anyway, what do you got? Yeah, I'm having a look at. Uh, I I wasn't happy with uh, Carlton last week. They had 21 less inside. You weren't. 50. Oh, I wasn't. As, I just thought they Aggressive. could play a lot better. Uh, just putting my th- foot through the TV yeah. just a couple of times. What are you doing? I know they almost <laughs> won, but they, I reckon they were lucky to get a draw in this one. They had they 21 were. less inside 50s against a more experienced, uh, experienced and just a a better offensive. I think team because Geelong got to the 100 points compared to the 58 that Richmond could only get to. I think they could, yeah, lose this one. I like the one to 39 as well. Just they match up pretty well. Uh, but I like the Kerno three plus. I think Kerno and Mackay could both get three plus just because the goals aren't really coming from anywhere. So else. They, they, they're going to kick two less goals than their team did combine last week, and then they're going to make the rest of it happen. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it, like we said, Salva Radlagalia. He gave away a few free kicks. He's pretty solid down there, like a big big guy, but he's not the best one on one defender. And then you got Deconing. You, they're not one hundred percent sure if he's playing. He was a bit injured Apparently last his week. Knee keeps even, falling out of place. Yeah, even if he does play, he's still a little bit inexperienced. So they're going to get a few goals between them, I reckon. So you get don't uh, think Kerno's the Plus. is going to stop Deconing. He's damn good. He's good, but he d- it doesn't look 100% with that knee, especially in the second half. Uh, Kerno 3 plus 265. really like that one. That's probably my yeah. favorite player prop. Nice one. Cool. Alex. Yeah, well, I was going to mention what Stats Guy did. The 45 inside 50s oh. is a bit of a worry. It, it was a massive smashing. worry. Yeah. Came to that. Uh, and look, we can't forget, the Cats got off to a flyer last week. They did kick six in the first quarter and just went, oh, we're up and about here, boys. And everyone was like, oh, God, Geelong are scary. Oh, God, it's going to happen again. Yeah. Uh, I like Geelong at the line to win by two or more goals. Jeremy Cameron, he's kicked 25 goals in nine games against Geelong. So Against Carlton. Against Carlton. Against Geelong even, yeah. He, oh, yeah, he did play against <laughs> he might Geelong. He might have I don't think he has that, that yeah. stat line against but Geelong. No, against Carlton, uh, two pluses, only about $1.46. I think I saw $1.50 with three six five. Yeah. So just nice little safe one because he did kick the couple last week and Geelong still did kick, you know, plenty of goals last week. So right. get right up and about. Uh, really happy with that. But yes, Geelong will win. Spoiler alert, I'm going to talk about that again later in our best bets. Uh, the tip here, very simple, Geelong. Geelong. I think we're all going Geelong, yeah. It's a green bat. There we go. Friday, <laughs> Brisbane, Melbourne. Uh, so who looked after this game? That was, oh, Alex, was covering. I think. Oh, were you were covering no, this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Melbourne, a dollar eighty-two. The favourite. This is in. It's a very. It's in Gabba. Brisbane, so Brisbane. it's, it's a Gabba very. Twa. Yeah, it's not the easiest game to predict. Two dollars two for Brisbane. The line is two and a half. That's very clearly just like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're, not sure, we're not really sure, yeah. Maybe then? <laughs> sure. Uh, I love Brisbane head-to-head in this. Yeah. Really? The Gabatois, we saw Melbourne last year and Brisbane go head-to-head. I just like Brisbane in a bounce-back spot massively for me. Like that's just what sticks out the most. Fair enough, yeah. After that horrible showing as Port last week, 
I think they come out at home and absolutely demolish even a quality team like Melbourne. Uh, I think this is a big sort of Joe Danaher spot as well in terms of huh. if we're going to go for like big dudes. He does like playing at home. He goes at home. I reckon there's at least a three-goal Joe Danaher game. And uh, maybe Chucky Cameron though. Yeah, We'll see how it goes. It'll take Brisbane a couple of games, I think, to figure out their setups. It just looked a bit wonky yeah. at times on Saturday. So yeah, that's what I reckon. I just like them at home though. So I'm just going to go with yeah. uh, the Brisbane head-to-head. The $2.02 is too hard to sort of go past, especially like with plus two and a half. Like what's the value in that really despite it? Like, well unless it's it, an yeah. absolute nail-biter and they yeah. just get over the hump. I'd just rather go Brisbane head-to-head. And I think there's a uh, – I think Melbourne – were good last week. They're also lucky that the Bulldogs might actually stink. Been saying it for a month. Yeah, Alex has been saying that for a while. So give me Brisbane. I'm, yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to have a go against you. I'm going Melbourne. I just They've got a lot of confidence from their last trip to the Gabba where they won by 58 points. And then they got smashed in the finals. They did get in the finals, <laughs> but uh, they'll grab some confidence from that. Not many teams can go up there and uh, beat Brisbane at the Gabba. They've won yeah, four of their last five other than that final we talked about, um, which, yeah, wasn't good. But kind of okay. important. That is important, but that's okay. Um, I'm having a look at a player prop, though, which I was talking about in my preview on crowbet.com.au. Uh, Brody Grundy. Uh, good website. Yeah, yeah good very stuff. good website. Brody Grundy, two plus goals. So that it's very rare that he gets two plus goals. Four dollars sixty, I think, is really good value. So I, I picked a few random two plus goals last week, and they got up Zach Tui at eighteen bucks. Yeah, so. how did you do that? Oh, I just that was we, we got a text yeah. message in the, in our group chat from things. Stats Guy, just going, <laughs> boom, Zach Tui, two goals. I'm like, where was this chat before? <laughs> I only thought Stats of it guy? just before the game. Anyway, I'm trying to find value in the two plus goals because I think it can boy yeah, plays be, in the back pocket and all of a sudden <laughs> kicks two goals. And it was Stats playing half forward wing, so I knew he'd be up there. Anyway. Uh, two bus goals, four to sixty. He uh, Grundy kicked a one goal one last week. Seven score involvements and spent eighty percent of his time in the forward half, Jeez. which is very rare yeah. for him. You've got uh, Gorn, who's clearly uh, labelled as their number one ruck. He played at both ends of the ground. It was a bit of sixty forty though. Yeah, but f- from uh, the actual yeah game time, he was in the forward half with those seven score involvements. Just shows he was in that forward line a lot. One goal, one. He had two yeah shots on goal. So I think if he yeah finishes another one of those, he can get that two plus goals. Four dollars sixty is really good. Good vote. Nice yeah. one, yeah. Alex. I love it how confident you guys are. I have no confidence in this game whatsoever. <laughs> I'm not that given confident, the, but you know, I just like Melbourne better. Brisbane smashed them in the final. Melbourne went up there the last time and smashed them. I'm confident uh, that this should be a belter of a game. Yes, yes, it should be absolutely because the Lions cannot be that bad. Their problem last week was they couldn't touch the football. Yeah. Oh, that was Only shocking. Three yeah. blokes had 20 or more possessions, so yeah. that was their problem. Just that was they poor. Had a couple of just easy touches out the back somewhere just to really build into a game. Uh, D's away record the last three seasons is 18 and four. They have won their yeah, last 12 away. interstate games. So kind of scary Absolutely. for me. I'm not going to have a bet. I'm going to sit on my hands. This is one of the ones I'm like, <laughs> hey, football's awesome. I'm just going to watch this as a fan, but I'm tipping the D's to win, but I have no confidence in that I didn't know what called tip. code sit on your hands daily, yeah, James. Is, is, is it code, <laughs> code coward daily? Like, I'm going to go over there on. with Marge and have a wuss bet. I just want to bet that everyone <laughs> has a good time. Everyone, everyone has, has a good, good time. time. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Well, the, but, all right, D's head to head there. You yeah, D's uh, uh, D's, so I might as well back them head to head. So the, the other aspect of this is Melbourne get what? Massive reinforcements, right? They've got four dudes coming they, back. Yeah, they won last week without yeah, a lot of their. Yeah, Fridge Like, oh, two of their most Joe Danaher players. might get off the leash, Stephen May. Not today, son. <laughs> My point about that is like between Hipwood, between Danaher, yeah. Yeah. between Chucky, between I mean, Dunstan, Cozzy Pickett just, and Bailey Fritch are just a like for like swap, like dangerous small forward. Yeah. Sure. I just think the, uh, the size of Brisbane might just come out to play a little Possibly, bit at home. Yeah against the Ds. It's going to be a fascinating game. I'm going Brisbane in this. We're both going Melbourne, Alex. Yeah, Melbourne. Yep. Nice one. Saturday, the Pies. It's Ooh. the this bar game. game. Yeah, the, yeah, the Battle, Battle of the, of the bars. bars. Love this. <laughs> they hate each other, these clubs. Calling. <laughs> uh, 154 versus Port Adelaide. $2.50. Yep. Calling would look awesome in that. Yeah, it's probably about right. Last, yeah. last, last quarter and a half. Oh, I was there. That, was, that was insane. The cab was throwing beers everywhere. It was, it was nuts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ten and a half point favorites this one, mm. Collingwood. I can't go against them. No, I can't either. They win last week. Yeah. They looked pretty good. They looked really good. Collingwood yeah. just looked at the G as well. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I hate to say it, but they did. Yeah, they, they did. Awesome. You hate that they're awesome. That's the problem. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this one screams to me as a Mia check game where you're just like, how'd they win that one? Oh, yeah, Mia check kept kicked three goals. Yeah. Like, and yep. they just smashed it. It's, good it's like he's the classic sort of guy who just like skates for a season and you go, Three in that one. Yeah, you're like, yeah but he does that in finals, yeah. and you're just like, yeah. Oh yeah, he's really good. Incredible. He doesn't so. get that much of the ball. He's just yeah, great set shots. So, so yeah. Uh, the two plus, I think, at the moment is it's only dollar eighty on the lad. Oh, still good for a multi. I still don't mind it. So throw that in your multi if you think Collingwood yeah. can win, which I do. Uh, this should be a really good litmus test though for Port. If they get smashed, you're like ah, Maybe classic they're not Port. As good, yeah. 
But if they push Collingwood, it's with, that, if it's within four goals, I reckon it's a good result. That's where yeah, that line, agreed. the line actually felt pretty low to me. Like on the Collingwood side, for only eleven and a half. Yeah, but given the way, if you well, smash Brisbane by play. fifty no one, points, yeah, no one thought they'll go smash Brisbane. What so. I'm saying, like, yeah, the fact that Collingwood were that good, but Port are still right up there. It's yeah. like, oh, geez, I would have thought that would have been longer, but yeah, no, I reckon it's fair enough. Yeah. Um, I think Collingwood cover that line as well, 10 and yeah. a half, 11 and a half. What do you reckon there, stats go? Yeah, I'm really liking the over in this one, over 170 and a half. These Still are two- my bet. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see Ooh. that one down the run sheet. <laughs> we can both agree on it. Slap okay. fight, slap <laughs> fight, do it. <laughs> Um, yeah, the over- on stats go with those giant forearms. Like he's <laughs> still just hairy. I don't think they're, I don't think they're very big. Uh, get to bit, hurry up. <laughs> over 170 and a half. Chimp arms. You got two of the best counter attacking team. We saw last week Collingwood when they are absolutely so fast getting from end to end. Transition. Yeah. Transition. And so was Port. Port just absolutely ran Brisbane off their legs. So I think you got two of those t- sort of teams going head to head. There's going to be goals back and forth. So I really like the over a at $1.89. Goal. And over. then I had a look at just Johnny Noble, 20 plus. He's $2.15. He had 29 touches. Uh, for Collingwood in the last game. He sort of that switch player in defense. He takes a few kickouts. He just gets those sort of easy, uncontested possessions. And I'm surprised he's $2.15 for the 20 plus. Nice one, Alex. Yeah, so I just literally finished my preview before we recorded of this game. Nice. Uh, can Port back it up? Like that's going to be the main thing. Yeah. But Ken Hinckley on the weekend in the second half after Brisbane sort of ran over them in the second quarter. Like, right, uh, young boys in the center, go nuts. Horn, Francis, Rosie and Butters yeah, just they went. looked very good. You know what? We're actually pretty awesome at football, so we're <laughs> going to do this. And, oh, my God, it was fast. It was exciting. It was just like, what the hell has happened? There's a lot to be said for natural talent. Yeah, right. Oh, 100%. And, yeah. Being yeah. Being naturally well, talented, well, just, kicking, yeah. a, kicking a football in a straight manner towards your forwards was great. Like I think it was Marshall, Dixon, yeah, and Dominic, Junior Rioli yeah. had like 10 or 12 goals between them, something like just that. Just great delivery. Uh, check out yeah. the uh, write-up, kerbet.com.au. It'll be up there soon. Nice. Uh, this will be a ripping game. Collingwood have won 11 of their last 12 at the G. The one loss was to Geelong in the qualifying final last right, year. Yeah. So going to tip the pies and the overs as well. That's 170 points. This uh, could yeah, easily I be think that an absolute shootout like yeah, last yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so really happy with that, but tipping the pies. Yeah, this one screams like at least 180. Um, and did check the weather. It's going to be good. Nice. nice. Uh, this is a tricky – like in terms of – we talked about that over. The speed with which – I think mo- like momentum is such a big thing with both of these teams. Oh, 100%. Like you saw yeah. the but like- there's going to be like at one stage, one team will kick seven goals and then Port Adelaide will kick five or six. And we'll yeah, like, that's what I reckon. Yeah. What is happening here? It'll be a cool this, game. And then exactly the end of the game, right. it's like, oh, Collingwood have won by six. And you're like, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah. That, look, they could be That's like last up six goals after the first quarter, right? They could yeah. pile on seven to start off without I think Collingwood – well, Port could do the same thing though. Yeah. Exactly. They're the ones that if they can just get that run at them light, they'll yep. just run straight over the top. They're a steamroller of a team. Yep. All right, the tip is pies. 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 We're all going pies, yeah. Hot pies. Adelaide, Richmond. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> poor Adelaide. We haven't written much on this one. Yeah. $2.40, $1.60 uh, for Richmond. Uh, the line is only eight and a half, nine and a half, depending on where you're looking at it. That's obviously $1.90. We've got better lead brokes in there too. Yeah. Richmond. That was not exactly a no. convincing display. Yeah. Oh, really? A draw's not convincing? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> Especially against Carlton. They were very lucky to get the draw. They were very lucky. Tom Lynch is the hero at the end. Yep. Absolutely smash it. You love to see that. Uh, the rest of the team, though, look, they had, as we've talked about, the Tigers had a million inside 50s to Carlton. Oh. They couldn't quite convert it. Are you going to put that down to Carlton's defensive pressure? I'm certainly not. No. Uh, this is a much more sort of Richmond wasting a lot of opportunities. Yep. I'm not convinced that happens again. Adelaide looked like a rabble last week. Pack her up, boys. I mean, Go the, on the first tides. half was pretty good. I mean, But GWS looked really bad in the first half. GWS then, then like, just smashed it. And yeah. Bang. Uh, Tigers taking the line here because it's, what, $1.60 head-to-head. Surprise it's that low. It's a pretty low line. Yeah, right? yeah. Minus eight and a half, nine and a half. I'm going the dollar ninety for Richmond at the line, yeah. and of course, if you want to go a bit of a player prop, in terms of this one, the dusty twenty plus that I had last week, yeah, that was going to roll good. with it again. Nice. Yep. <laughs> Why not? Can't argue You're with a results. Sucker for punishment. I'm just going hard after yeah. Dusty. Anyway, you could throw in two goals there as well. Yeah. Uh, stats guy, what do you got? Yeah, I was just literally the same thing. I think uh, Tigers dominated the inside 50s last week. And although Carlton wasn't the reason that they couldn't score as much, but they've got a lot better defense than Adelaide. Adelaide's got a very young defense uh, and that looked very shaky against GWS. who were just bombing it in there and still were able to score some goals. So I really like the Tigers eight and a half. Just a simple one. Just that's the best... Probably one of my favorite bets of the weekend. I'll yeah. pay cool. that. Alex? 
Uh, one thing that hasn't been talked about as much was it was about 48 million degrees in Sydney last weekend. Will Ooh, the pies hot. be out? Will <laughs> Adelaide actually be able to back it up? It's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. But you saw them all. They were cramping everywhere. Like they could not move. And yeah, yeah. Toby Green in his interview sounded like he was about to die. Yeah. Like it was honestly brutal conditions for all seven people that went and watched. <laughs> uh, will the legs have recovered? I know it's like, oh, they're fit and going. It's like, yeah, but that's got to take a lot out of you. Yeah. So I'm really keen on Richmond here to get the job done, take the, uh, the line, but also think the under 174 and a half because. This could be just be one of those games where it's like, oh yeah, Richmond have won by eight goals and it's like 102 to 40. Yeah, well, they only got 50 points last week. And it's week, like, so. oh yeah, cool. So it's like well under the 174. So bet 365 have a double. Uh, the under, uh, the minus eight and a half and the under 174 and a half. It's three bucks 90. Nice. So, nice. I like that. Pretty keen. Cool. Not bad. I hate taking unders, but this one I yeah, like. Yeah, I, I don't like unders, but I don't mind Because you, nev- you want to know what happens to that guy? Once they go over, they can never go under. Exactly. You're not wrong. You're not uh, wrong. Taranto was obviously the big standout last week as well. He was. If he can fix up his disposal efficiency. He's like a dollar thirty three to have 25 plus this week. So it yeah. doesn't feel too bad either. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else? What's the next one? Well, what? Actually, what are well, we Let's go picking? for our tips. I think we're yeah. all tipping the Tigers. We're tipping Richmond. Yeah, Richmond. West Bulldogs and Kilda. This is a Another tough one. one. Yeah, yeah. The dogs are somehow yeah. $1.50. I can't believe I got this game to do. Well, $1.50 Saints favorites. surprised everyone last week. Saints, $2.70 after beating Fremantle. Absolute chaos. Now, the big question is, can the dogs bounce back after getting smasherated by Melbourne? No. I think so. Ooh, I think I they think, can. I think they can. I think there's a bit of class in that midfield. And I think yeah. Frio came to Melbourne expecting to absolutely steamroll the stain. Saints. Went, hang on a second. <laughs> What's that? And Ross Lyon's like, hello. <laughs> hello, boys. Hey, uh, hello, uh, Nathan. Nathan. God, Remember it's me? Ross Lyon. I thought we got rid of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing there? That's who he used to coach. What's happening? He would have been licking I think I'm lips. taking crazy pills. It's like, yes. And Frio just got completely discombobulated. They did. They Went, did. right. Fife forgot I don't how to know play what footy. We're doing. Fife's like, what am I doing? <laughs> how do I play football? Am I Scott Pendlebury? Let's go play basketball. Anyway, I think the dog step up. Pretty yep. hardcore here. I think there's a big... Sort of, uh, well, no Rory Lobb. Yeah, he had ankle surgery ankle on Monday. Surgery. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah he's uh, going to be back next week. Yep. Give me some Bont. Yeah, Bont Give me to some liver. I think there's a big sort of turnaround from the Bulldogs here. The line's 12 and a half. Yep. I don't mind that for the dogs. So I'm going to, like, because the dollar fifty is not a great amount of value for the head to head. I, like I think the, the dogs can run over the top of them. Dogs bounce back. Uh, what are we going there? Stats go. Yeah, I just like the Bulldogs 1 to 39. I don't think they're. Yeah, quality is good enough to get past that uh, 40 plus. Uh, everyone's talking about the Bulldogs' de- defense. If they might not have Liam Jones, uh, we're not sure yet, but it's pretty shaky. But they're versing a Saints team that has a lot of injuries in their forward line. So I think that you can do, that sort of cancels each other out and you look at their midfields and their forwards. And I really Stats like, guy math. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's how I math, sports math. Uh, so I like, it's yeah. It's like magnets. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Bond, I just think he, every week you can almost bank on him to have 25 and a goal. And I think I looked at last week, it was about $2.40. I think it's about the same uh, yep. this week. So 25 and a goal for the Bont, I think. Yeah, lock I love him in. it. I think this is the sort of game that Trelaw steps up in as well. Trelaw, like, yeah, yeah. What is Trelaw doing? How's he got 30? What is happening? Because <laughs> yeah. so he runs off sure. half back. Yeah. Exactly. And it's against the Saints. Yeah. So there you go. Alex, what's yours? Completely different. Yeah, going the opposite to us. I'm, I don't mind that, yeah. I'm going with the Saints. I think they're going to get, uh, they're going to choke in on the Bulldogs once again. Because the Western Bulldogs last week, they're like, Oh, yeah, everyone's tall. So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to bomb it every time. <laughs> what happens when they bomb it and it hits the ground? Tall blokes can't bend over. Yeah. They can't pick up the football. They had all these forward entries, <laughs> but yet when they got the football and had a shot, they didn't kick straight. Right. So a bit of a problem there, having 65 forward entries and getting obliterated by 60-odd points. I don't rate them at all. I, I've said that yeah, you said all that pre-season. You did, yeah. But you uh, didn't rate St. Kilda either. Yeah, that's okay. I can get one wrong. <laughs> uh, but the four tours had 30 possessions and two goals between them. I'm heavy on the under here again. Yep. Because I think Ross will just choke That's a in. low under there. There was only, what, uh, 119 points in the St. Kilda Fremantle game. And the dogs only got like, what, 60, 65 themselves. True. So yep. the under is 162 and a half here. I'm pretty keen on that one, taking the under. And I'm going to tip St. Kilda. Nice. nice. Pay that. That's all right. You know, you can be wrong. Yeah. Uh, Western Bulldogs for me. <laughs> yeah, Bulldogs for me. Nice one. All right, Frio. Frio, way to go. We love, North. Ha- we love Harry Sheasel. Fremantle yes. will win. Let's go. Move on. <laughs> yeah. I love where, where we're headed, but I don't can't see us beating Frio. $1.22. This, this is the bounce back. Yeah. 
Dollar twenty two for Frio. They're North. lucky they get to play us. Five twenty five with Top Sport. That's a long price. The Lions minus twenty nine and a half. Yeah. It seems a bit rough. Like for no, I I've, I'm going North the line, can stay in the contest because they'll be up and about for it. And the way Frio played last week, it's like five Again, goals. I mean, you're more than happy to be completely wrong. That's, <laughs> I'm happy for you to do that. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, I don't mind Frio at the line of that minus twenty nine. I'm half. absolutely crushing Frio as, at that line. I also just apologies. looked at what I also just looked at what I wrote. I was like, yeah, Frio at the line's a good bet. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. They, they've beaten us by forty plus the last four times we've played them. Seventy uh, percent record at Optus Stadium the last three seasons. That's the clincher for me, right? Yeah, they they're just they home, play well. They're going to just yeah. demolish. So I'm a bit worried about North that, yeah. Melbourne boys will be jet lagged. Let's just blame it on that. So <laughs> I think yeah. The over like the over is 157 and a half. How do we feel about that? What 122 That's, to 50? I feel I feel like we showed last week that we can score quickly. So I don't know. I reckon I don't mind. You're just like, you're against West Coast. I know. I know. But I don't mind the. Over. But also bigger deck. The young kids are just going to run without fear. So. I don't. Right. I can see them kicking, you know, ten goals. But yeah, that's not, what I think. That's what I think. Not right. twenty. Yeah, Frio and the over at the line. Don't mind that. That's a good bet. Uh, so, what's your vibe here, Liam? With yeah. your team, Come just on, my team. Talk talk something to talk talk up. I don't mind Jack Zebel twenty five plus disposals. Did he, he take how many kickouts did he take last week? Oh, uh, I didn't actually look at the numbers, but it was, would have been at least I've eight, got eight to ten. I've got a theory that she's may take a few of them this he, week. Well, he took five kickouts. It's, last it's week. very simple. Hey, young kid, What's you want to go get some actually? confidence? Go get some easy possessions. Yeah. Take the kick out. Well, yeah. Jack Zebel gets the easiest possessions in the AFL. He literally had he averaged twenty six the last two years. He had twenty six uh, last week. Uh, I think he's, he's going to get he's going to get best, more of, one of the best multi editions. Yeah, come across. It. He, so every time like we switch or go out of defense, we go to him because he's a pretty solid kick. Also, he, he got twenty six last week when we played while in attack. We're going to have a lot of defending to do in this game. <laughs> he could get even thirty five. <laughs> so I like the twenty five plus at two dollars twenty. I was surprised it's over two bucks. So yeah, yeah. Nice one, Alex. I'm looking at Sheasel to get plenty of opportunity to rebound out of defense here. A couple of easy kick-ins as well. 25 plus is two bucks, 10. Uh, and Freo at the line as well. Uh, pretty keen on that. There's sort of not much else to say about the game. Just, the forward line needs to lift though for Freo. Just don't bring your flags. True. Yeah, five needs uh, to lift. Right. <laughs> Tips. Freo. 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 It pains me to say it, but Freo. Way to go. Sunday's game. That's just Sydney. being realistic, Liam. Exactly. Sydney Hawthorne. This is Alex's team. $1.12. So, uh, pretty sure favourites there. That's good. I was Seems <laughs> overs. <laughs> overs. That's a easy free twelve percent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The banks are only giving four point three five. Hawthorne seven dollars fifty. That seems under. He's very under. The line is bouncing between thirty nine and a half and forty one and That's a half. That's a big line. I am taking that minus thirty nine. I think and I am as well. Yeah. Heartbeat. Yep. Uh, Sydney minus thirty nine and a half. I'm all over that. I think you can start looking at margin bets. Someone may have had one here earlier I want today. Him. Exactly. I want him. Yeah. And uh, I think I might have called this on Cobet Daily yesterday, the exact. Yeah. What was the exact one? Was 152 to 38 or Something 158 like to 32? Something like that. Yeah. It'll be yeah. in our chat. Yeah, correct score in soccer. Can you so do correct score in I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can nail that exactly on the head. <laughs> that would be. See what odds I can that get. That would be insane. Uh, but yeah, Swans by 120 and away we go. 120. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I know you guys are saying over 100 plus. It very rarely happens. I know that Essendon won by 70 points. I know, but they can just pop up and have a crap week. I think it'll be like, it could be, it'll cover this line. I really like the line of 39 and a half, but I don't think it's 158 32, by the way. 158 32. There you go. <laughs> Hold me to it. Uh, this is the Swans at home against the worst team in the AFL. We think. I'm just. Yeah. What do you mean? We think. I'm pretty sure that's Hawthorne. Pretty sure if Essendon, yeah. if Essendon can beat. I know, you but it's round one. I'm just. That's all I'm saying. I think stats guys like, well, we've got something to say about that. I'm just worried. I'm just worried. I don't want to like. Well, then call why aren't you championing for Hawthorne being terrible? I want them to, but I the don't problem think is with yeah. Hawthorne. They've got like there's no seniority yes, in a major their position. Line is worried, worried James me. Warple is going to be Dane Rampey's favorite player yeah. by the end of the day because <laughs> Rampey's just going to be like, oh, Warple's got. It. I'm just going to stand here. This nah, is great. I do like the forty. Hundred plus is legitimately on because. <laughs> The Swans aren't going to be a team like, oh, yeah, we're going to turn up and take this easy because everyone sort of thought no, that last week with the poor record against Gold well. Coast and they dusted them by 60 points. Yeah, without There's, breaking a sweat basically yeah, as well. True. Apart from the humidity. Yes. So <laughs> they literally busted a sweat but without yeah, figuratively. Exactly. Yes, like this, yes. this is a game where Chad Warner could have 30 and three. Chundley. 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 Errol Goulden, 30 and three. Like It's very easy to see just tap down, run into the fourth line goal. Like one of the old mercy rule floggings. It's yep. – uh, even if it is 60 <laughs> points, it's the same thing. Like, but 100, 100 plus is legitimately on. There's $21 around if you can find it. 
Like I'm very keen on the. I'm plus. talking myself into just backing Hawthorne now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so Alex is so convinced. I know. Like, I know. Packer, well, he so, was convinced last week about the Saints, and that, that yeah, well, that, that, that was different. St Kilda <laughs> actually oh, tell us how. St Kilda, tell us how. It's the same. It's the well, same. St Kilda actually have players over 18 in their right. team. Uh, <laughs> so what's your what's your go to here then, stats guy? Quick. Oh, I just was going to go there. Yeah, Sydney of the line that I think we all agreed on that. Thirty nine and a half could be a lot bigger. Yeah. All right, Alex, your team. Swans 40 plus and over 165 and a half points, three dollars and five cents with Ladbrokes because this could be that 100, 158 to 32. Yep, that there's that the covers, over, that and the, the Swans over, yeah. clearly cover the 40. But look around for that 100 plus. It's for 10 bucks at 20 to one. It's well worth it. <laughs> and I'm getting keener on Logan McDonald to kick four or more goals at 12 dollars. Nice, I do like that. A lot. Just one yeah, out in the goals. Out, I just yeah. think yeah, no bud. Like Chad Wingard's not out. Sicily's going to be like, ah oh, crap. I have to follow Isaac Heaney all day. I can't be third man up. <laughs> So have fun, James. I don't mind the Heans uh, with three plus goals as well in this one. Yeah, just, nice. Just going to improve his accuracy. He's a little bit off on the weekend. Uh, right, the tip is very clearly me, the... Hawthorne. <laughs> no. I'll do it, Sean. Sydney, Sydney, 100% Sydney. Sydney, Sydney. Uh, Essendon, Gold Coast. Oh, this one's this a is Marvel. a tough one. Also, well. this is an average Sunday slate again. It really is. <laughs> Saturday night's a bit of a stinker. Uh, Sunday's a bit of a... Mm, nah. like the best game of the weekend Saturday at one fifteen. I'll pay that. Probably, right. yeah. Essendon, fifty-seven. Gold Coast, $2.50. The Lions, 10 and a half, 11 and a half. Has the market overreacted to this? 100%. It has. Because Essendon I don't mind that line, though. Really bad team, and Gold Coast got beaten by this a is, really good team. Yeah, this is all results, right? This is all yeah. results based. Essendon on top of the top of the ladder. Also, well done, first, Essendon fans. Enjoy it. first time since 2013 yeah. at any round what about at that? any point in the season. Yeah. Uh, every the team in the last 15 years that's been on top of the ladder in, yeah, in the last 15 years has made finals. So every, te- every sorry, team who's been on top badly. of the ladder. You explain that horrible. Okay. I've got a better Every one. team who was on top of the ladder after round one. No, yeah. that's been since 1995. Ooh. Not 15 years. Oh, I, I read this thing just before. I said How old are you, Stats guy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was older than me. I, I didn't know then. Yeah. Every some- team <laughs> since 1995 that's been on top of the ladder round one has made oh, finals. Okay. Nice. Uh, Essendon, you're about hopefully, to break hopefully that. Hopefully they break that, typical Essendon fashion. But how many of those ones have actually won finals? Not Essendon. That's the question because it's not Essendon. Right. Get into it. I like Gold Coast so much in this one. 11 and a half points is this line. The overreaction's in. It was Essendon at the MCG against Hawthorne. Kids. They're going to smash them. Gold Coast. Uh, thing know. is, Essendon have beaten Gold Coast every single time they've ever played, I think, at Marvel. Really? Literally yes. every time oh, yeah, at yeah, Marvel. 100%. Yeah. So we're at Marvel for this one. That's why I don't mind Essendon. Yeah. So I'm a little bit worried, but I don't mind. I like Gold Coast at the line. I think this is close, and then Gold Coast. Gold Coast. The Gold Coast class. Close. I was <laughs> Gold, Gold Coast close. class <laughs> will step up and show its uh, show itself a little bit more in this one versus uh, the horrible show we saw last week. So I don't know. I just like this bounce back spot again. Ooh, I just like a good bounce back spot. I think this is overreaction time. Give me Gold Coast, Liam. What do you like? Uh, it pains me to tip it, but I'm going Essendon in this one. Uh, the Suns have the worst record of all time at Marvel Stadium, which is 25% of their wins there. So, they've, yeah, the worst record ideal. of any team. They haven't, they've played a lot less games right. than some teams. But so yeah. You're saying there's a one in four chance that I'm right. Yes, <laughs> there's still a chance. Uh, I really like, yeah, Redmond, McGrath, Martin, uh, sort of the guys for Essendon that really like the dry conditions at Marvel that just absolutely love sprinting off halfback and the wings uh, just tearing up opposition. So I really, yeah, like Essendon. Uh, Suns also looked a bit shaky last week. I watched the game. It's because they picked they, three tools they, 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 and Levi Casbold ex- hit the deck. And it took exactly him 20 minutes to, to get up. They pick three tools. If they pick three tools again, they, they won't. Did, Levi I don't has, know. Levi's got to get dropped. They, yeah, they'll give Levi a week off. I yeah. think they should, but yeah, they pick three tools. If they do that again, load up on the uh, minus 10 and a half. But yeah, but I, I don't mind minus, Essendon minus 10 and a half. Maybe I'm going a bit, yeah, against what you guys I'll said. pay that. If they drop Levi and they just have Ben King out there by himself. And, and or Ben King in the goal square and six Marby or just getting up the ground. Six goals for uh, Ben King. Boom. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Essendon, I'm going Essendon. Nice one, Alex. Just tipping Gold Coast to win head to head. There you go. Don't mind it. I think I'll the bounce back's there. I don't think Essendon are that good. It's oh, I don't think that good. But like, Suns look What horrible. happens if it's like at, at, at 245, just before, you know, Essendon and Gold Coast start, the Swans are up by 120. We're like, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> They're really good. Yeah. They're all right. Yeah. yeah. Swans are really <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, but Hawthorne are really, really bad, which yep. means Essendon aren't great. Yep. Checks out. Uh, the tip is Gold Coast for me. But yeah, Bombers for me. Gold Coast. Hands me the same. Nice one. Then the final game of the week. What an absolute shocker. This is a hard one as so well. Barry who, Crocker shocker. Who has done the, like, the scheduling? Well, they're going to play each other at some point. Yeah, but like, why <laughs> couldn't we have Collingwood and Port be the three o'clock game on Sunday? West Coast, $2.05. The GWS Giants, the favorites out west. Yep. Deserved. Dollar eighty two. Yeah, probably probably deserved. Minus three and a half of the Giants. 
They how, did. How can they not be favourites? They look if, like the better team compared of the two last week, very clearly. Yeah. And West Coast, look, if you can't beat North, even if it's in Melbourne. <laughs> that was I pretty just, bad, yeah. The thing that got me about this West Coast game, I'm like, at home, if there's going to be a sneaky win that they snag. I think as well, one. yeah. So I kind of like West Coast. I think just when you're at home, it makes it all that different for the Eagles. The fans will be there going nuts. There's going to be yeah, zero people there for huh? GWS. So. Yeah. Hey, there's going to be seven of them there. Give them a, give them a break. So West Coast, <laughs> uh, the head-to-head, $2.05. Love that. Liam. Yeah, I'm really liking West Coast as well. Uh, they, uh, as Alex said before, they had a really tough game in the heat, GWS, and you were saying about how Adelaide might. I think GWS looked a bit tired. They also, I was looking at the injuries, are out with uh, without Josh Kelly and Lockie Whitman. They were out for the second half. They were at, so when GWS yeah, when went, oh, well. we're going to win the game, they weren't playing. But they're uh, like the last few seasons have been some of their best players, so I think they're massive You outs. were bagging Whitfield last I'm week bagging horrendously. Him in coach, but in terms of important players for them, he's very important. Uh, Josh Kelly obviously is very important. Like as how well. every week starts, I was going to just change his opinion to suit his narrative. Oh, I see. <laughs> Which is fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what the podcast it's is for. It's literally yeah. all I ever do. It's yeah. good podcasting. <laughs> That's what it is. But yeah, I think their experience can fire up a home like uh, Liam Flying Ryan. Two plus goals, uh, $1.90. I really like that. Had three goals uh, against us, the North, last week. Um, and then Ginobert's defense is a really tall uh, defense and a bit slower. So I think he can outpace him and get that two plus goals. Yeah, I think this is actually a sneaky, okay game. Like for all the talk, it's like, yeah. No, it'll be all right, yeah. Should be kind of fun. You got Might some fun players chaos. still, yeah. Nice. Toby Green. If it screams Sunday game, though. Yeah, it does. No, it, it screams Sunday twilight. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what's your pick there, Alex? I'm with the Giants at the line. The away team has covered seven of the last eight West Coast games in Perth. Yeah, okay. West Coast, West Coast suck. Been West Coast has been horrible, yeah. yeah. Uh, but still, wrong. West Coast suck. They were like, horrible against us, yeah. I, they looked so bad against North Melbourne. Andrew Gaff, Shuey, Yo, or Yo didn't play, sorry. Uh, McGovern, they just looked terrible. How are they going to beat a GWS team who's probably eight goals better than North Melbourne? Oh, six. <laughs> yeah, okay, six joking, six to eight still means they win this game no, by I know, I know. eight goals. So, uh, <laughs> That's just maths, folks. Yeah, just exactly. Maths. Yeah, just but also, is Simpson's job on the line? If all of a sudden they're 0-8 and, and it's like, probably, yeah, I've come yeah. into the rebuild, it's like, yeah, but we've got to change something up here. If they're 0-8, maybe. Yeah. like I, That's the thing. I feel like there's like one of these early, home, early season home games. Like, yeah, that's like what I reckon. One get yeah, one but it's also like, oh, we, we believe in them. They were so bad last year and they looked terrible last week. Toby Green, three plus goals, two bucks 35. His brother Tom, different spelling, <laughs> same name. <laughs> He's is 35 plus at $3 as Brothers well. This from another uh, man. Yeah, exactly. Like like <laughs> yeah, but they dominated the game last week. The Green week. Boys. I can see them doing it again because – I just can't see the West Coast midfielders keeping up with them. So Tom Green, and, the oh, 30 Finn, Finn Callahan 30 had an awesome game as well. The 30 plus, the 35 plus and the super coach. I think you can actually get a super coach or fantasy, fantasy bets yeah. uh, for Tom Green that is absolutely flying around. So uh, I don't know. Yeah, Tom Green 90? to have 90 plus fantasy points is $1.18. I have no oh. idea what that means, but no. that seems <laughs> like a value. lot. It's not good value for that, actually. <laughs> no. so don't, don't get on that. Uh, the tip <laughs> is West Coast for me. Yeah, West Coast for me. Giants. Wow. Tough Giants. teams. Uh, best bet for the weekend. What Ooh, do you feel? I almost like? forgot about this. To be honest, Suns plus 100 for me is like, let's go. Swans or Suns? Swans, 100 plus. There yep. we go. Uh, I love that. I'm going to jump all over it. There's also another one. Yeah. Jezza Cameron and Charlie Curnow to combine for six goals. Oh, yeah. $3.50. Yeah, okay. See, so I've shied away from Curnow in a lot of my previews for the Geelong Carlton game. Yeah. Curnow's also, I think, kicked like three plus in like something like eight of the last 10 times they've played at the G. Yep. So loves it. We looked really good last Cameron's week. got 25 and nine against. Carlton, and he's got also like an awesome this MCG also, record the last couple of years too. This is combined to six plus. This could be one of them going for five and the other one getting one. <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly, how yeah. maths works, folks. It, it does. I'll it does. That much. I love maths. Uh, so Cameron and Kerno to combine for six plus, $3.50. I think those were better. I really like that. Stats guy, best bet. Yeah, Richmond minus eight and a half against Adelaide. I, as Alex said, Adelaide had a really tough loss last weekend. Look, yeah, look to rely on their older players like we were talking about in the preseason too much. Uh, so Richmond, I think they'll bounce back and get that minus eight and a half is my main bet. And then I really like the overs in the Port uh, Collingwood game. I think both of them, dollar ninety. I think are locks this weekend. That's a good call, Alex. Side note: Jeremy Cameron's kicked sixty four goals in twenty six games at the MCG. That's that seems a lot. like a lot. Yeah, yeah it seems like not a bad. lot. Uh, Swans 40 plus and over 165 and a half points at the three dollars and five cents with Ladbrokes pretty keen on that and heavily into the unders for Western Bulldogs and St Kilda yeah, I like that one. the human snooze fest yeah. <laughs> it's a good call with the unders dig it there you go awesome entirety of AFL round two smash that set up 
looked at. Betted on. <laughs> all the good we're going stuff. going to bet on, yeah. Well, we're going to. Uh, we'll be back uh, next week to wrap it all up and look forward to week three. But, of course, you can join us on the tomorrow. Live, get on the live stream. Live stream. Or, or tonight, tonight if you're watching if this. You, yeah, exactly. Thursday night, 7 p.m. Thursday evening, 7 p.m. Same bad time, same bad channel. It'll be <laughs> CoBet Daily, the live stream. There'll be tins. There will be pizza. There will be banter. There will be bets. There will be Leo nice. betting on social games. I like it. Uh, we're going to bet how many ping pong balls that guy can fit in his oh, face. Oh, at least it's gonna be good. six. Wow. <laughs> that's a bet I'm going to take. Yeah, that's a bet. I'm going nah, nah, so I'm, I'm I'm to change unders. that line. That's I'm taking line. unders. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You didn't you say that can't be, Get him in there. You didn't say I didn't that say he, he has to up. survive. You didn't say <laughs> that couldn't be crushed up either. I, I, I can probably fit more. <laughs> I'm going over. You're a weirdo. <laughs> All right. Get right around the show. Subscribe, Mark, like. Mark, your son has issues. Star it. Check us a follow. Comment as well. Uh, what else? Jump all over the socials. Facey, IG. Share Twitter. it in your group chats. You're anything. You're whatever. Stats guy. TikTok. Get on Tinder and start sharing it. YouTube. <laughs> you too, Leo. Obviously, YouTube for the uh, live stream tomorrow as well with the footy. Uh, send in any questions, any shout outs you want. Stats guy, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Can't wait for tomorrow. Nice one. Thanks to me. And of course, always thanks to Geraldinho and Leo. Thank you. Behind the camera doing all the actual work. Gerald might not have a house to go home to tonight. Go to Japan. Burnt, Get around Japan. Burnt down in celebrations. Japan winning yeah, the world. We should, we should do a uh, code bet daily world baseball classic tomorrow yeah <laughs> just to celebrate <laughs> words <laughs> that was a long title oh, jeez uh anyway what do we say stats guy camera responsibly nice one may all your picks come in happy bunting footy's back we'll catch you in a bit go bet daily afl next week <laughs> <laughs> footy's back <laughs>